If you're like me after the recent ban list, you're probably mourning the loss of Chaos or the Chaotic Radical Dragon. It's an absurdly powerful card. I imagine you don't need me to tell you that, given that it just got banned and, well, it's on screen for you to read. Uh, milling 5 just does so much for so many decks, and uh, I personally loved using it in the Ogdoatic build that you see in front of you. Same with uh, Snow that also got hit, but I was really more of an extender and a cherry on top than uh, uh, in an integral and crucial piece. When the ban list dropped, one of the first things that I did was rush to the database and try and find an alternate way to uh, to mill cards, to get as many cards as I can into rotation off the top of my deck into the graveyard. And the answer that I found to my issue of needing a way to get a lot of cards in the graveyard, and the best the best analog to Chaos Rule I could find was Black Feather Dark Rage Dragon. Uh, this is a card that reads, uh, once per turn, when you take damage, you can send the top five cards of your graveyard. It, it's up to, but let's be real, you're never sending less than five. And it gains a small attack boost if any monsters are sent, but I mean, who cares about the attack boost? What matters is that you just dumped five cards in the grave. Uh, I'll go ahead and demonstrate a way that that can be used now, uh, but obviously this isn't good. Let's be honest with ourselves. Uh, this card completely, while it does read like Chaos Ruler at a glance, it completely ignores what makes Chaos Ruler good. is isn't just that it mills a bunch of cards, but also that it adds cards to your hand and summons itself back in the grave. It represents multiple material in one card, it pluses you both into the graveyard and into the hand, and it's just all around an infinitely better card than Black Feather Dark Rage, even if you don't need to jump through hoops to... Even, even if you ignore the fact that you have to jump through hoops to activate Black Feather Dark Rage. So, here you can see that we're going to be starting off, as long as we can get any two level 4s and a level 4 tuner onto the field, we can perform our full combo. First, we're going to overlay our two level 4 non tuners into Raid Raptor 4 Strikes. That's going to add from our deck to our hand, Singing Lanius. Singing Lanius is then going to special summon itself and be linked off alongside the Force Strikes for Wise Strikes. Wise Strikes is going to be grabbing Zephyrus the Elite which is going to Synchro Summon with our level 4 Tuner into Black Rage Dark Feather. After playing a card that we can bounce, or by having one on field, we'll return to the hand, summon Zephyros, and take 400, milling ourselves for 5 cards. Again, this isn't a good combo. This is just a very situational setup that requires you play multiple cards in your extra deck and multiple cards in your main deck, that you really don't want to see outside of these um, situations. They don't do much in the grand scheme of things, and they ignore what really makes Chaos Ruler as broken as it is, but it is something that is worth considering if your deck really, really needs the top five cards right in the graveyard. I uh, hope you find some use for this, and see you next time, I guess. I don't know how to end these videos.